That is the number seven Penn State Nittany Lions go on the road to play the number three Ohio State Buckeyes. It's a 12 o'clock kickoff on Fox. Brad, take it away because I'm going to keep coughing. <laughs> Sorry, you're feeling bad, buddy. Yeah, this is a really intriguing one. We know about Ohio State. You know, uh, they've they've had some some games where you know they've been um, they've been battle tested. I mean, very close emotional win over Notre Dame. Maryland played them extremely tough for you know about a half. Um, but you started to see the the Buckeyes get their feet under them. They're starting to play better. Penn State, they haven't really been challenged. And, and to be honest, Nate, it's been a weak schedule. I mean, running through it real quick, West Virginia, Delaware, Illinois, Iowa, Northwestern, UMass, not exactly not exactly a challenge. Um, I, in saying that, I think Penn State's a really good team. However, I think Drew Aller going on the road for, for in this kind of environment, even though it's 12 o'clock kickoff, I think is going to be a big challenge. I got to say, Nate, the Ohio State defense has surprised me. They've looked really good. They're only giving up 263 yards a game. I'm taking the Buckeyes in this one. It's a, it's a four-point spread. I don't think Ohio State's going to win by double digits, but I, I think I think Kyle McCord makes enough plays. I think Marvin Harrison has a big day. I think Drew Aller makes one or two critical mistakes in a very, very tough road environment. Give me the Buckeyes Saturday afternoon. Yeah, Brad, this is obviously one of the most intriguing matchups of the year. Game day is going to be there. Josh Pate's going to be there. The Fox Big Ten kickoff is going to be there. We're not going to be there, but <laughs> that's okay. Maybe next year. Look, Ohio State given a 63.5% chance to win this game, according to ESPN.com. Currently favored by four points. Under, the over-under is 47. That surprises me. They're, they're looking for a low-scoring defensive game in this one, and I guess that makes sense being in a Big Ten. Both teams come into this game undefeated, and you have to think, depending on what Michigan does to both of these teams, because they still have to play Michigan, both of these teams do, this, this could set things up for, for who wins the Big Ten East on Saturday. Brad, I'm going to have to agree with you. I'm going to take the Ohio State Buckeyes as well. I just think – I don't think Drew Auer has had to play in a very hostile environment yet. I, I think that's really what it boils down to. I think Ohio State just has more experience than the Nittany Lions. And maybe we'll be wrong come Sunday, but for the time being, give, give me give me the Buckeyes. I think Cobb McCord has a good game. I think Trevion Henderson has a great game at running back. I think he gets some big yards in this one. Look for him to rush for over 100 yards in this one, in my opinion. I think, I think the Buckeyes really start to open it up in week eight. That concludes today's episode. When we come back next time, hopefully I'll have my voice back. I won't be coughing as much. We're going to be discussing our week eight recap and breakdown, our week nine game day previews and predictions. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Follow us on all socials at BreakBottle underscore. And be sure to turn on your bell notifications. Stay up to date when we post our latest videos. And let us know in the comments who you think will win this matchup of each game of the week. From Break the Huddle Studios, this is Nathan and Brad signing off.